Hello, dorks. It's time for Mordor Fortress. I'm sure that's a big surprise. Uh, hi. Um, yeah. Mordor Fortress. Sorry, my brain is everywhere right now. Uh, we're mostly just gonna hop right into it, but... My goodness, we are in a pickle, aren't we? Well, let's... let's... Let's chat? I've never really chatted, have I? <laughs> We're looking for adamantine, and we have been for the last two streams now. Um, well, we have kind of for the last maybe five or so, but like in earnest for the last two streams. And we haven't reached any. We found lots of things. We found some nice things. We've also found some bad things. Um, so I think this, this stream is going to be more of that. Hopefully more of the good things than the bad things. Cat having asthma on the floor here. He's fine. Um, here, let's... I have it open here. Yeah, there we go. So, what happened... So, two streams ago, <laughs> we were we were mining up here. We have Cave 3, and we found two of these... pillars. I don't know what to call them. This is new Dwarf Fortress stuff, and that's kind of the trick here. Um, we found these two pillars. There's one here and there's one, there's one over here. They're both in our third cave. They go down from here. We're already, you can see we're at elevation negative 82. So we're already like way underground. I just go down all the way. So two streams ago, we were mining in these areas, trying to find the goodies and struggling mightily. Um, you can see it's just, it's a mess. It's just a mess of little pockets of magma and water. And I have not yet located where in this kind of a mess we can actually find good things. It's been, it's been a slog. Um, so I gave up on this part, this section. And then I said, well, let's go down deeper. Uh, so we went down to the magma sea. And we started mapping this out. My intention, or my my hopes and dreams, I guess, or yeah, look at all this. My hopes were that there would be less junk down here. Um, but I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna erase those. As you can see, there is the exact same junk down here as there is upstairs. So, so much for that hope. <laughs> I guess I should say. Um, so there's no real benefit to us hanging out all the way down here. It just takes longer for, for miners to traverse that whole distance. Like, this is 111. It's another 30 levels straight down from the nonsense upstairs. Um, I think we were working on this. Did this? This is all hasn't happened. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna tell him to stop. Fiddling around down here. We got more here. This has all been dug. Yeah. Um, we have someone's gonna build a floor there. That's fine. I'm gonna step away from this deeper stuff, even though this was the stuff I was doing to step away from <laughs> the other stuff. But we're gonna return up to here to these patches. Um, because they're I mean my thought was if it's hard to find adamantine here, maybe we can go deeper and it, it'll at work. Bleh. It'll work more like how I remember it working in previous versions. And the answer to that was no, it don't. So there's no real benefit to us being down there as opposed to here is my my kind of understanding now. Um, I'm just going to I'm going to unpause. Um, we also have a Forgotten Beast just came in off the map, like, right at the end of last stream, I think. It's just, it's just hanging out here <laughs> on the edge. Um, so I'm just gonna unpause and let this thing kill ants for a bit. Um, probably a new mayor. Um, we lost our, our Baron. Maybe no, this is the same mayor still liking anvils because of course. Um, 
yeah, so I did a minor amount of research. I didn't do a ton of research. I didn't find any real good answers about what we're supposed to be doing here. Other than, yes, this is this is just how it works now. Um, so <laughs> that's that's cool. Um, so we're kind of on the bleeding edge of Dwarf Fortress knowledge. I mean, the game's been out for five or six months at this point, so there are people out there who understand what's going on here and how to deal with it, but it's not super well established what the what the best thing to do here is. At least I haven't found it. I didn't look around on the forums too much. They're probably the forums are probably where I should have gone first. Um It's all fine, that's all fine. You're just gonna rest. Okay. Ultimately, what that means I'm still still going at still going for it. Oh, that was a good shot. Is that that's here. Okay, good. Look at all these ants. I'm curious how many ants are down here. 182. There were over 200 last time I checked. The giant olms and the bats and the rats and the toads. Like, this is all... That's all Cave 2 stuff. The crundles are probably in Cave 3. Oh, we know what. We can see five demons. That's good. And a fire imp. There's a cavefish person somewhere. Okay. It's all... Cave 2 has a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, but hopefully this Forgotten Beast survives long enough to clear them out, maybe? No, it's just gonna get its kick its butt kicked, isn't it? We killed six, shaken to the core. Come on. Do something. Um, that was one of those. Okay. So. Our fortress is in kind of a cool situation where we're screwed. <laughs> I think is is where we're at. Um, we're down to 115 people, and that's with our squads having returned. We have two squads of people um, who I've been sending out for the purposes of uh, attacking the goblins on the world map, but um, I think we need the manpower here. I even I even removed all of their orders. Like they're not even training right now, just to like try and deal with all the corpses and stuff. Okay, are we? We cleared up these corpses, so that's good. We have we have all of these. These are probably all taken already. There's there's a couple that aren't. Okay, so we're not too bad. We are... we're probably going to need more. My goodness, look at all these corpses. All these tombs. Uh-oh. Okay. Still fine. I just... I want to keep an eye on that and make sure nothing's sneaking into Cave 1. Um... you are mining way the heck down here. Okay, I guess that's fine. Um... Merchants are leaving, but we traded with these. I believe. I hope. I think we did. Okay. That's just gonna keep happening <laughs> until this beast is dead, or all the ants are dead. But, okay. So that means we're dealing with this. And what I'm wondering... I mean, A, we need to make this safer. I've been... I've been lacking on the actual defenses here. This is so far down and so far away from our fort that, like, trying to put in a weapon trap would take forever for them to actually complete. Uh, so I... I kind of haven't bothered. Um... Hey, look, a tantrum. I don't care. 
So we should make this a little bit more secure, first of all. And then second of all... The question in my mind... So... We did not find... We have we saw some adamantine last stream, but we did not get to it. And we found more of this, this kind of junk down there as well. So... My former thinking was that maybe the end of adamantine starts further down, and there's this this junk is up above. But the fact that that junk goes all the way down leads me to believe that the adamantine probably comes up too. Which means somewhere in here, we still need to find it. I'm wondering if it's in here. And I haven't mined over here too much because just above it is cave. So I can't mine down into these spots without enclosing a section of the cave. There's like flying forgotten beast down here. So that's a trick. Did you what'd you just do? Okay, bye. <laughs> she has a tinfoil ball she's she's playing with, I think. Oh, did you lose it? Okay. Creature. I don't know what she's doing. Um, but yeah, the the smart thing is to go top down. Of course, that's complicated by our cave. What are you doing down there? Yeah, you can play with that over there. <laughs> He said, okay. She found a one of those Velcro wire ties. Just on a little ball, little round ball. Anyway, I would love to channel out some of this, but clearly we can't. So... We can come into the sides. I mean, digging out these these wet ones isn't so bad. Maybe what we do... This is all is just damp. Tiles can be damp and warm. Like this one is both damp and warm. So you want to make sure. Because like it's only showing the warm sign. Warm sign. <laughs> um, so I think I'm just going to do that. Which is dangerous, but hopefully not too dangerous. Um, but I think we've, I mean, we've seen the, the edges, right? There's nothing past here. There's nothing back past here. Obviously, there's nothing out here. Um, so if we can map out like a level, that'll be cool. Um, and then from there, we can go down because we've like some of these pools even go go down themselves. So as we as we reveal from the top, we will peek down below. I'm um, just kind of in a weird inconsistent manner. So we're going to keep picking away at that. Um, we're in a kind of a similar situation over here. Our top is here, right? Because this is our obsidian floor. And same kind of deal, like there's stuff under here, but it's out in the cave, so I don't want to open this up. Because I'd have to like I'd have to put in a roof and a wall and a whole thing. So yeah. Um and of course we're just gonna keep finding demons. I do wanna put I wanna put some cage traps in here. Let's do I don't I actually don't know if traps work on demons. We haven't, so far all the demons that have come out have not gone through the traps, so I'm going to make sure to put some traps here. Um, do, do a couple. And then... The other thing to do... I mean, I would... I guess I want to make sure that traps actually work on them before I 
put in the time to put in a weapon trap. Um, pertinent vegetation has defaced. Another engraving in the bathhouse has been defaced by the mushrooms. And that's fine with me. We have more trees in here even. Look at that. I, I kind of like that. I, it's kind of disgusting, but it's also kind of funny. So <laughs> it's a very natural bathhouse. Um, so that's that's fine. Crundles are fighting. Merchants have embarked. Uh, we also want to check on our cave. There's also I don't know why the farm plots aren't being made. Those farm plots were destroyed quite a while ago. Planters? We have planters. We have very good planters. I don't know why... I don't know why that's not happening, but we're... We're fine. Uh, we have... Um, whatchamacallit, Diapak is handling our crops right now. Just keeping our food levels static, basically. Um, I have this one stupid wall that I'm waiting on being built. And then, because I want to flood this little bit with, with magma so things can't keep coming in off the map from that area. Um, and we chopped trees here. So I actually want to build a road here. Um, we were having trees grow, growing too close to our walls that go outside of our map, and then fish coming in on the tree, um, which was bad. So we're going to prevent that with some, uh, whatchamacallit, with some road. Um, we're already up to 12 clear glass blocks again, that's good. Do that. Um, and then if I'm smart, I do it here too, right? Let's just, we'll chop, we'll chop here. Um, and then we got down here. I don't know. I don't think that's a risk. I don't actually know though. I've never seen anything come in off, off the map from here. I've never seen them come in underwater. I think they have to enter on a above water tile, but then they go underwater like immediately. Um, no trees here or anything. And then there's all, all this. I think that's fine. We'll just keep an eye on it. There's that. Oh, that's... See here, that's technically a... a thing. We should... We should drain this. To do this. And then we will... We'll build a wall here. Um, and then down here, it's probably fine, question mark. We'll, we'll, we'll make one here, this is kind of a longer section. Um, we'll just do... We'll just do that. Confirm. And then here, see that's... It wants to, it wants to go above. And then, got stuff here, but nothing's growing here. We're still waiting on people to dig these things. Is any of this happening? No. Mm, they have ways in here. I don't know why they're not doing the thing. I'll have to figure that out. And then here, there's also trees here. And then like this, this still ain't getting done. Everyone's slacking. Like this got dug. 
But I want to be able, I want to put a wall here so that I'm not also dumping here. Bug. Um, and then this should be fine. I wonder if things can eventually grow on the obsidian. You probably want to road here, though. Let's do construct road. Administrator has been possessed. I'll do that. And there's only... there's just two things. Okay. Okay. And I'll just assume they'll figure this out eventually. I claimed a stoneworker's shop. Cool. <laughs> I'm all, the, all this thread. Because we have... I mean, thread is supposed to be going, like, here, right? Finished goods. Maybe here. Cloth. Thread. Yes. There's a bunch of thread in there, so they're just they're just slacking to finishing their jobs. Um all these resume, please. Okay. Oh I turned off suspend manager, didn't I? Mm -hmm. We'll turn that back on. That's usually helpful. Okay, this got made. Good. Oh, we got all our crows. How are we doing on crows? Or ravens, sorry. Pets. Overall training. Ravens. We are experts at training ravens. Very cool. I wonder if any of them are actual... This is like... Yeah! Domesticated raven hatchlings. Perfect. I like it. Okay. More visiting barons. You look at like the craft floor and everything looks so normal. Everyone's busy and doing things and it's not terrible. <laughs> okay. So we're making making cage traps, so that'll that'll answer that question at least. You're you're loading. Okay. So on this level we are in theory, we are above everything. Uh, we can see the obsidian floor on this level, and there's like no obsidian on this level. So I believe that that flat level of obsidian is like the top of all the nonsense. Which means all of the warm stone things that we see on this floor are for things beneath us. And that's really the key, is, is determining the difference between Tiles that are warm because there's something behind it, and tiles that are warm because there's something beneath it. We're basically playing Sudoku to figure out what's what. That's just open. We need someone to... Someone should close that, probably. Um, we'll put a floor here. And I wonder... I should just put, like, a small block stockpile down here or something. Or something. Um, there's no no goodies in here. These were all just filled with demons. <laughs> there weren't any good things in here. There's a corpse. But there's probably more... Like, there's more stuff over here, right? So I want to mine... I just want to mine this out. And I don't think there's any reason I don't just do... This. If there is a reason, we'll find it out. This is all... This is So this is like open cave. I don't want to connect to here. 
I want to get like as close as I can. Like here we're fine, but I don't think... Well, there could be stuff back here. Let's do this. Because if I... Hmm. If I mine out a tile, does it still show it as being warm? Like... Like this tile should be warm. Well, they'll, they'll stop, like, if any of these turn out to be warm, they will stop. And we'll, we'll see the cancellation at least. I think we want to just dig everything. We basically want to dig everything and show our, our warm tiles. So I'm not going to designate these tiles that we already know are warm. should be the end of it. There shouldn't be... Like it goes here. Do something like that. That should be as far over this way as we need to go. Um, like here. That's right. I would love to peek into here, but it's probably filled with nasty things, and I don't want to open it from that direction. Though, of course, it's, at most, there's only two tiles of, of magma there. So we could, in theory, try it from the side. There's also things like this, like a single tile of water. We could... We could open this without that being dangerous, right? We can just mine here. I don't know that that gets us anything. That would get us back here, I guess. But then we can, like, we can mine through here and see what's warm beneath it. The miners are coming. What's with our... We're back down to 17 FPS. Come on, people. Because of all the... All the ant people? Yeah, there are a lot of ant people on the map. I wonder if that forgotten beast died. We have a bat in a cage somewhere. Yeah, that's a lot of ants. Oh, you're still here. Oh, but this is way deeper. This is third. No, this is. Yeah, this is a third cave beast. Why do we have ravens in cages? Are these are these ravens that were warmer member that's funny yeah okay so they're related to all of our <laughs> our ravens they're they probably just reverted and got caught in a cage or something that's kind of funny um we also have auto butcher going here it's just right here don't recall if they are actually... So they're paused on ravens. So I'm actually going to turn that back on again now that we're actually getting domesticated ravens out of it. So now we just need to keep a stable population of them like everything else. Um, so if I do... Auto put here. How does... How do I enable? <laughs> um... 
see... Show me the, the stuff. Or help. No. There we go. Um... Neagle, auto watch, no auto watch, unwatch, forget all. Start watching the listed races. So I think I think I want us to do watch raid. not found Raven. What is it? It's like... Man finished successfully. There we go. Okay, so now if I just do Auto Butcher, Ravens, they're unpaused. Okay, so now they're, they're gonna go kill some Ravens. <laughs> That's fine. Um, we got a bunch of them apparently. What's going on? We got some some stuff. Someone's teeth. There've been quite a few uh, tantrums going on recently. Can't imagine why. Uh, these wells got rebuilt, so now they're they're working. That's good. Uh, what about the ones down here? These are this was operational. This one's waiting. Still, this bucket is full. This bucket is full. How? Didn't I just rebuild these? Both of these? Well, this one's working at least. Whatever. Um, okay. Here we go. Warm stone. So, okay. Well, I will just leave those, but that means there's... Well, there can't be magma there. Some of these are still warm from magma that we accidentally released. But that's fine. I don't care about mining those anyway, because they're not going to show anything, right? They're just going to show all that. Okay, so that's that's probably fine. Um, but they're not like these. Like we should get like a wet tile here or something, right? We'll see what happens here. The other thought I had, remembering remembering brain thoughts as we go, what I should do... If there, we, can, we can try to avoid, like, every single patch of magma in water, but that's... You can see how that's been going. Um, so maybe it's wise to plan for training some of these. In which case... Maybe what we do... Oh, someone stole an artifact. Goodbye, artifact. <laughs> Don't have the resources to chase that down. Um, but we should plan for a drain. Like here, we, we, we filled our, our stairwell with, with magma here. Um, oh, a miner's been found dead. Where and why? Oh, that's that one, okay. I knew that one was dead. You're all just slow on the uptake, huh? See, like, they mined that one, no problem. The wet ones aren't... A tile above a wet space is not wet, but a tile above a worm is warm? Is that... I guess that would make sense. Um, but like this, so here's there's warm here, so it could either be well oh, there there you go. There's warm underneath. Um 
which means in theory we can but see this is like that could just be all demons we can do something like that because we can tell that there's not magma here Um, yeah, okay, so planning, planning to drain. This is, this is an upward slope. I see. Let's remove that because it's confusing. To me, at least. And that looks down. Probably plug in, like, all these holes. Meh. Um, so here, so this is diamond, but there's there's nothing around it, right? There can't be anything hiding here. Because we have seen all of these surrounding tiles. So we can just do like that. And that. That'll give us some some emeralds and diamonds. And this is going okay so far. But okay, um, let's say like we can't drill a drain straight through the middle of the whole thing, because if I could just drill straight through the middle of the whole thing, then we wouldn't be bothering with all this. So we want, I mean, ideally it'd be like right here, but too late for that. Um, let's, let's say like over here, let's say we have a drain Like here? Just, just somewhere over here. Oh, that was convenient. Um, I want to go down. Like even this might get too close. Jeez, look at all. Oh, man. Okay. You can see it kind of wanders around. There's obsidian over here. Hmm. Maybe one of the corners? Could do like up here. Because I'm trying to find a, a spot so I could do a whole a drain along the whole height of it, but that's not strictly necessary. We could just do a couple of drains. It's just annoying. Um, let's do like let's do like this. Oh, tantrum! Hooray! So we'll take this and we'll go all the way up. And if it fails, it fails. Um, okay, perfect. Oh, that was... I wanted to be stairs, not mine. Um, okay. And then, oh, I want to go, like, here. Yeah, so we'll do that. And then maybe we'll say over on this side we'll find another spot. Aside from this, um, because we could do these are all up ramps, right? Here, let's sometimes the ramps are confusing. Yeah, that's all up stuff. So, what if we had? A drain over here. Maybe, maybe like up here. This is probably, probably out of the way, right? Right? Okay. Same thing. We'll go to there, and we'll just. I'm just gonna carve a fortification through, through the wall there, and that'll, and that'll be our drain. I'm not gonna make it more complicated than that. Okay. 
that'll give them a couple things to dig. Um, and let's do the same thing over here. Um, well, it'll be hard to drain from this side, so maybe we do a top and a bottom kind of a situation. Oh, and look! Okay, cool. So we dug here. Right? We dug one of these tiles. And we, we drained out all of this. So now... All of this is still wet. Like, what about, like, these spaces? These could have things. And like here, this is wet because there's, there's still something in here. My goodness. And then, like, over here... The fact that this tile is wet means, like... One of these three has to be wet. Mm. It's very, very puzzly. <laughs> In kind of the good way. The stakes are a little high. Um, but let's do... Let's do this. I think... do like here does this stay this is probably too close there's there's gonna be something there um so let's do a little further up do like up here maybe still seems kind of risky but we'll we'll do that We'll see what happens. Um, and then similar down here. Let's do... Yeah, maybe, maybe down here even. over a bunch, so maybe we do one here. Did that work? Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll do this. We'll do something like that. Um, and then when we get down to here, we'll have to... We'll make another drain, like over here. But by then, we'll have... Revealed more, maybe no more or <laughs> no more about what's going on here. Um, so we'll we'll start with that. Killing the ravens. Thank you. Uh, slaughtering. Storing. Okay. So then once we get those drains kind of made, hopefully people are are coming to get that done. Reuse, storing. Probably gonna grab all these um all these gems. Maybe I should make a gem stockpile closer. Cause they're all just gonna grab all those one by one. Um we have this little uh, heater. So this is kind of our, this is our cave three and down bulwark, uh, I guess. So everything back here, we can make safe, not always safe, but we can <laughs> make it closed off, I guess. Um, so maybe what we'll do, let's do like this, and we'll have... Um, I want to... I'm trying to be more conscious about line of sight in these kinds of situations. So maybe we'll go like this. And then we'll have some... 
space for some stockpiles. Hello. How's it going? We are continuing this. <laughs> Been lurking for a bit, can talk now. Oh, cool. Um, I had an artifact stolen, that's very cool. Oh look, speaking of which, I just had another one? I think we are, um, we're a little ill-equipped to deal with that right now. Could not find path. Well, that's, you seem to have figured it out. You can get up out of there, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, the artifacts. Um, those are... They should be here. Now, like, our, our... We don't have as much traffic going through here now. I could, like... I could lock the door or something, but then people wouldn't get to the, um... Like, this is the way down to the... The forges and stuff. Uh, doesn't tell me what like what should be there some of these look empty but they I oh, see there's no one assigned but it's not here hmm. I know I mean security guards would be great that's uh I think I need those people to be doing other things right now though Um, hey, look, the king is visiting. But yes, what I should do is I should have like an artifact storage kind of an area and then have the barracks in the same area and then have them like patrol. You can actually set up patrol routes for, for soldiers as well, which is a thing that I don't do very often, but I should because um, it's good. My main reason that I don't do it too often, or at least in early fortresses, because Training and being on patrol are like mutually exclusive, so I have them like being off duty and training off and on. But you can also have them doing like train, patrol, and off duty, or just like train and patrol, or things like that. Um, but you don't want to you don't want to put your 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 soldiers on on hundred percent on duty forever because they'll get really grumpy. Like, my my soldiers are so grumpy as it is. They're off work half the time. They're only training half the calendar, swapping back and forth. They're still very upset at me. So the more... the more you press on them for those kinds of tasks, the... the more upset they can become sometimes. Um, but you can also, I mean... Having them patrol your artifacts is probably a smart idea. So I'm pretty sure the only reason things are getting away with with stealing them is because they're not being observed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell them to make these floors. We have we have some glass in here, right? Where's our Where's our clear glass? No. Why not? What the heck does that mean? Don't I have... They all down here? Or glass furnace. This is our glass output. There's nothing here. Who stole our glass? There's sand here at least.
with all of our melt stuff. <laughs> all of our anvils. Uh, <laughs> all these webs. Uh, what are you working on? You're working on iron. You're working on iron. Cool. What is this? Our pearl ash ended up here. Perfect. Finally. Still other things to, <laughs> to take care of. Look at all this. All this junk. Forge fire stockpile. Mm -hmm. Probably need to reevaluate all the links down here. Um, what happened to our glass? We had glass. Unless I used it somewhere else. Hmm. Weird. Maybe it's being moved and it'll show up somewhere? Fine, throw your tantrums. Uh, here. Okay, someone's coming to dig that. This isn't... If you're not trapped here, attend a meeting. These... these little dorks. You have a stairwell. Oh, but there's magma just beneath it. Is that why you're... Can't get that close to the magma? Is that the problem? Um, let's just do... Can you do that? Or here. Will that help you? Someone wants to mine that. Okay. So in theory, there's not more magma here. Right? Like we would have seen... I guess there could be something hiding down here. Could be something hiding down here, but that's gonna be hard to get to. Aside from like this way. Um, let's dig like this. Show us what's beneath a little bit. Yeah, they're not gonna like be able to get there, are they? Well, I think once they figure out this stairwell, they'll be fine. We have temperature turned off for now should probably go back on, but it's going to make everything slower. There it goes. Hopefully they can just go down. The neighboring any warm tiles? Be very lucky if it could just go very all, all the way down.
horse and statues toppled by human bowmen. You can topple statues, just don't stab people. Curious if any of these are bordering warm. No, doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Everyone you can damage property, but please not people. Yeah, I mean, it'd be cool if they listened. Uh, okay, so we made it all the way down here. Very cool. So now what we're going to do is smooth. Well, we, we can even do two of them here. Or even three of them. Um, but if you smooth the tile, then you can carve fortifications into it, and then it's permeable to liquids. So that'll be our little drain there. The main, the main thing will be making sure we don't mix our magma and our water. But that should be okay. Okay. Are you going to let them out? No. <laughs> Someone's coming. Um, okay, and then there's over here, which has not been done yet. Not been done yet. Which is fine. They can reach here, right? It should be... Should be reachable. Maybe... Oh, we could have just gone... <laughs> we could have just gone around this way. Um, let's open up a little shortcut kind of a situation. Oh, erase. I think that's shorter than going all the way around every time. Yeah. Um, it's, good. it's so, so deep, my goodness. Okay. Also curious. So there's here. And that's, that's that dig site. Realistically, we could just do this even. It's smart to make more more ways to go around in here. Or do we want to restrict things? I think I think that will be fine. Did you get out? You got out. That got dug. Okay, perfect. Smooth wall. Perfect. So it must have just been... It's the it's the magma. It's always the magma. Such a problem. Let's see here. Not finding more warm stones. To not dig a stairwell for people before I've drained what I want to drain off of this level because I don't want to flood my stairwells that are for people. So, I think, I mean, do I want to drain? This is all 
Is this all connected? This is all connected. So, okay. So if I could find a spot where I could stand... Well, there's gonna be magma in between here. Maybe I'll just drain... I'll just drain this level first. Something like that. Oh, and we're saving. Hopefully we don't crash. But I'm wondering how many levels of just junk there are, and how far down we have to go to start finding adamantine. That's really my main question right now. So I want to be diligent about mining the top parts and not going, like not missing anything as we go down. I think that's kind of my goal right now. Because then we can learn how far down we have to go, and that'll be knowledge for the future. For all those times we do this in the future. <laughs> or knowledge for you, for you doing it in the future. Learn from my suffering. Okay, so we... I saw someone go down here as smooth, right? All the way down? Okay. <laughs> what is that one? Pride wave. <laughs> Administrator has created an orthoclase scepter. Very cool. Should I put that on one of the pedestals where something already is missing? <laughs> um, okay, so now we make fortification. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that. And then that will act as a drain. And if magma comes out into here and turns that into obsidian, then so be it. Don't care. That's it's for the cave to deal with. Also just a random random abandoned stairwell designation there. Okay. And they can get in theory they can get back down here. In theory. I'm like, what's... So yeah, okay, so there's probably something here, but we can't get to that easily. We could dig in from the side, but... We've seen how that goes. wondering if this is the actual edge, or if there's anything else hiding in here. There could be goodies along this edge. I think all these spaces could have treasure, right? Um, I'm not, I'm not going to scour too hard from the treasure, because if I, if you scour for the treasure, you are also scouring for the demons. So I'm going to leave as much of those as I can. Hey, look, goblins. Um, and of course, all of our soldiers are naked still. Um, let's go... Over here. I should just... I should put them back on duty. That would be the smart thing. Um, let's have all... All four of you. Mm -hmm. Station here. Yes. Oh, I see what's happening. If you have the dig tool open, then it is bad. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, and who are you? You are a baron who's just gonna go leaving. That's fine. Um, let's keep an eye on, on these. Hopefully it's just a small one again. Nope. Hopefully it's a medium-sized one again. After this, I'm going to put 
Our squad's back on training duty. Just let their... Rest. I mean, we want them dressed so that we can deal with demons as they show up too, so maybe that's the smart thing. I think our corpses are mostly taken care of. This ain't too bad. Very normal goblin siege for us these days. And we'll see how quickly our friends can get dressed. I can't control you. There we go. Yes. Muster. Hopefully everything's actually in one place and they don't run around. Um, there is... The bucket is full. I don't know why... <laughs> A pool of dwarf blood. I don't know why the buckets are full. I don't know what that means. Here they come. Better get dressed fast. I'm just gonna walk over the trap. Should put more traps there or something? Maybe better traps? Uh, is that our king? No. Baron. We're gonna have a surprise though. That's. No, it's also a Baron. Uh. Uh oh. Goblins attacking the Baroness of Charm Urns. Any of our friends coming? Oh, there's the king. Hi, king. Do any of our soldiers want to come protect the king from the goblins? Mm, slowly. That's a dead dwarf. King, please walk the other way. Hi, creature. You want to speak into the microphone? Oh no! The king! Oh... Well, he's taking a lot of arrows. Our poor... Poor pin cushion of a king. <laughs> Iron bolt stuck in upper body. Copper arrow stuck in upper body. Water covering. Spattering of his own blood everywhere. Uh, hell. Bad. Got it. Does someone want to save the king? Nope, the king's dead. The king is being killed because he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, goblins were coming in and he was wanting to come out and I couldn't tell him no. So now he's dead. I wonder who the king is now. We didn't get a notice that we have the king, so it's no one here. Our civilization has a new king somewhere. Long live the king. <laughs> And now they're coming in. They're all still just running around, getting dressed, and now, like, where are they going? Come on. I'm like, what are you doing? King consort. 
You need to be killed too. Where my king goes, I go. Beekeeper found dead. Oh no. Like, what are you all doing? How does this mess happen? I, uh, certainly not my fault, that's for sure. Baron? Like, these are all, well, this person is actually a, a citizen. But, like, this visitor is ready to leave. This isn't an actual citizen. This is a visitor. They kind of come and go of their own accord. Um, what are you, you are wanting to go store an item. So I should just forbid the items. Where did the goblins go? I thought they were coming. Did they go down? Did they go down, down? There's a goblin. Oh, here they come. Okay, but they're... Good thing there's traps here. Goblins want to come in this way. Okay. Well, they're learning about some new traps here. Oh yeah, you want to leave now? This isn't the, the back door you thought it was? Come on, walk on them. It's perfectly safe, come on. Okay, and then here, here come our, our A soldier. Do you have all your stuff on? You have a bit of your stuff on. So now you're gonna get surrounded. So maybe that's okay. Our dwarves can definitely get overwhelmed by, by goblins if there's too many of them. But our steel gear is gonna be doing pretty good. Did you grab like a... Just an iron short sword. All of these legendary items sitting around, you grabbed an iron short sword. Okay. Oh no. Uh, outside. I should have put up an alert. There's... yeah. Bug. I don't know what they were all doing out here. Um, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Okay. I think they're... I don't know if they're retreating. They're not rushing in. I'm gonna give them a, a station up here. Is this our king consort? No, that's a baron. Okay. There's some soldiers. There's that. Do, do, do. I'm wondering if there's any left down here. No, I think we're good here. Okay. There's <laughs> still so many. Jeez. Ugh, the traps are just... Not as effective as I want them to be. Oh, there's a goblin. Okay, here we go. Here's a group. <laughs> a group of soldiers, finally. Okay. We have a group of soldiers here in our entrance, and nothing is behind them. Of course, this king consort wants to go get himself killed. There's still a handful more in the stairwell. Go ahead and bring them all up. And finish them off. Like, there's... Who are you? Baroness of Clasp Charm. Can't imagine why people aren't moving here anymore. If... Yeah. 
Animal Dissector found it. Martial Trance. Excellent. Look <laughs> at this goblin pile. On the plus side, we could actually make a incinerator here without too much issue. Quit disturbing your little blanket thing. You stink. Okay, well, we're no longer being sieged. Okay, well. Lots of dead things. <laughs> lots of fighting, that's all fine. Being consort is fighting. Are you still fighting? Where are you? No, you're just vomiting everywhere. You survived. Go tell the world of how Zolban died. Um, but okay. So I'm gonna put these. Four squads back on their staggered staggered training schedule. Because they're all on, they're two months on, two months off. Maybe we'll do, we could do two months on, four months off, divide evenly. I want them, I mostly just want them to be in training mode all time because they keep their clothes on. I could tell them to keep their stuff on while off duty. I think, look, did you just, just walk around and come back? Okay. Um, no, I'll, I'll leave them how they are. I'll leave them how they are. They're fine. Um, and then we'll, we'll remove the station order. So now they're on routine stagger training. And I should, why is that not? And I also need to refill most of the squads. Um, okay, so you all are doing things. You're the broker, stone cutter. How about you? Skills, no relevant skills. Mace dwarf. Um, I don't want the weaponsmith in a squad. Novice wrestler. Competent marks dwarf. That's a good one. Adequate archer. Hmm. Um, anyone else? There's a lot of adequate archers in here. Um, but a bunch of these people are like these are already in squads. Yeah, like these are all in squads. That's why they're competent. They've been training. Uh, let's take you, plus that, and then we'll <laughs> refill here. And uh, novice Marksdorf. I mean, we're we're putting 40 people in a squad in a fortress of 115, so that's like a third of our fortress is going to be in a squad, training half the time. So that's a sixth of our fortress is training at any one time. Um, Dyer. Farmer, we have plenty of farmers. That's still good. 
That's good. And our other squads. You're good. You're good. Wow. Only a little surprised. Okay. So they will keep their clothes on. And they will keep training. And they will be ready in case of demons and stuff. Um, I mean, the th one thing that we could do... Let's do... So we were... We're going here. Okay, so we're digging here, finally. Um, I didn't really leave myself much room for, like, defensive structures here. I could have done a lot of things better here, but... Ultimately, I think... So... In theory, so there's... So we've been doing these orders. There's there's kill and there's station. That's basically all I've been doing. Uh, but there's a patrol order, there's a burrow defense order, and there's a training order. Squad must be assigned to a barracks zone. So you can, you can tr have them train manually. I guess that's something I've never done. Um, but like, you could just, instead of scheduling them to train you could just have them have no like a schedule with no orders in it and then you can just tell them to train for a while and then do put them on and off duty manually if you really wanted to um but these two there's a patrol and there's a defense oh hello raid slab gorb welcome welcome um we're we're digging <laughs> <laughs> um, there, we, we were just talking about uh, patrol orders and burrow orders. Those are two things that I don't really do very often. Um, but I'm thinking I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna... Um, and both of them require a little bit of setup. Um, patrol order, you go in and you, you make a patrol route. I don't actually know... I'd have to look up how you do it in this version. Um, but you, you like set points and you put them in an order and you call it a, a patrol route and then you can assign dwarves to patrol that route and they'll kind of go in a, you know, follow those points. Um, and then there's also, you can also defend a burrow. So what we're going to do is... Oh look, caravan. For once, we've left the gate open for the caravan. Hooray! Um, I'm going to create a new burrow. And it's just going to be here. Um, sure. And we're going to call this um, Deep Guard Station. And I don't... Like, we don't need to assign anybody to it. It's just going to be... Okay. It's just going to be here. Um, but then... I can say, take this squad and tell them to defend this burrow. And then they will just hang out in here and kill anything that comes within range of that burrow. And in this instance, it's not really so much waiting for things to come all the way up here. It's just to kind of keep them on hand, keep them in the neighborhood of where things might go wrong. Um, what I was going to do here, though, I was going to make a couple of stockpiles, or at least one stockpile. I'm going to make a gem stockpile. And I'm going to have it give to our main gem stockpile, which is one of these. Uh... This one? Yeah, uncut gems. Okay. <laughs> um, so this is... Uh, yep, okay. Y yep, okay. This is... Uh, a three gems stocks. And then I also want to give it a couple of wheelbarrows. So now we'll, we'll make sure this is actually working the way I think it does. 
There's yeah, we have all we have all sorts of gems now. Look at all this. Well, um, but in theory, so now we will have a gem stockpile here, so that Pete, when we mine out all of our fancy gem columns down below, they will have a closer place to put it that's still safe ish because it's still inside our our door here um and then once things are placed here then people can ferry them up and down to our our actual real crafting floor um but right now i think every time someone comes down all the way down here to grab a gem they have to go all the way back upstairs like it's seriously like a hundred levels like here's minus 90 our crafts floor is here uh, no, here at one, <laughs> literally 80 levels. Um, it's only going to get further, so hopefully that will help that. Um, these still haven't been dug, and I don't know why. It's real cool. Can I? Really, I care about this. Maybe I'll... Does that work? Uh, except that there's just air there. Um, <laughs> we can do a floor. Is that what we need to do? Fine. Uh, yeah, so we, we just dealt with a goblin siege, uh, so that's why I wasn't here immediately. But now that we're now the goblins are done, oh, and the, the traitors are here. Yeah, see? Goblins. Uh, but here they come. Okay. Let's do bins. And that's, now oh, there's some not worn things in there. They're not very good at keeping things sorted like I told them to. Look at all these good clothes though. We've gone through a lot of our worn clothing. Wow. We have a lot of not bad clothing. Wish they were all separated like I told them to be. <laughs> um, here, this is all craft goods, except for crutches. We can make more crutches, that's fine. But it seems like worth nothing. Okay. Uh, these should be sorted more. Here we go. Worn clothing. So that's all fine. That's all quivers. The person who is mandating all the quivers is dead now, so that's kind of nice, I guess. Get rid of that. Uh, I can get rid of that one. And this. That seems fine. Another. Yeah, look at all these llama wool robes that we have. Very cool. That's all... That's all worn. Yeah, let's get rid of that one. Okay. And then... Request broker! Hooray! Um, now, let's go back... Biscuit dug. Okay, so we were we were digging some drains here. So now let's smooth. Do we'll do like that. Um, and then here, here, and we'll also smooth. Did that not... 
Did our thing not work? Okay. Boards are being weird about the stuff in here, and I, I want to say it's because of warm. It's, maybe we need to turn. We should turn our temperature back on. I don't want to. It's just gonna make things slower. But I think things are being weird. Um, oh no, I was looking at the wrong floor. Okay, things are working here. Um, did this drain get finished? Yes. Cool. There is a pair of shoes in there. <laughs> but I guess that's fine. Um, so I wanted to drain this. So let's... We don't even have to do it from the side. We can just do... Just dig there. Someone can come and do that. Then all of this will drain, and then there's that's our drain drain, so that'll all just go out into the, the cave lake and be fine. Um and then we will attempt to dig this drain here. Let's not no. Okay, and then over on this side, this has all been done. Do it's gonna take a second for them to figure that out. Um. Yeah. But now that we have some a squad, look, they're all wearing stuff. They're defending our our place. Look, look at their equipment. Oh my gosh, look at that. They're all wearing their stuff, except for some people missing some boots. It's very nice. So I feel a little more secure now. Not by much, though. Um... Like, none of this is wet? I find that curious. So we can... I mean, we, let's just... Do that. And then we'll... We'll find some more wet tiles, obviously. And... Yeah, so there's going to be something here. If this weren't at the edge of the cave, this would be a little bit simpler, but... Why are you all the way down here? Smooth wall. Okay. <laughs> One of our off-duty ones, but he's wearing his stuff. That's good. I want to keep them to keep their their clothes on. Okay. Keep an eye on this, and then we'll turn it into fortifications once they're done. Maybe what we do... We could put hatches on our stairs. Because I don't even have... I dug, I dug down here. Of course, there's, there's already water in here. See, it already happened. Um, but I could put a hatch here. And that would prevent... Gabbro is, is magma safe, so that'll be fine. Um, but that'll prevent any water that we drain accidentally flooding our functional stairwell. If you could just stay right there and finish that, that would be perfect. Okay. 
then same deal over here. Someone's someone's coming. Scott. One got spooed. Okay. Working on it. Perfect. What about this other side? This guy. Okay, cool. So they're dug in this drain here. Perfect. This goes down a little ways. This one's it's so freaking tall. Oh my gosh. It's a whole dang project. Okay, yeah, see, so we we opened this up. We opened it from above. No one got swept in. Now our water is going down. And it's just harmlessly flowing out into the cave. We didn't have to open the cave or anything. Uh, oh, bring me sand, please. Literally all I care about. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Um, oh, and look, it even, like, flowed into here and, and turned uh, a magma into an obsidian. That's cool. Less magma is always good. One thing that occurred to me, well, not here, like, we could, in theory, kind of just mine between magma and and water and kind of just well i guess you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to do it with a gem because you would lose the gem hey look a tantrum hooray if a gem gets cast into obsidian and then you mine the obsidian does the gem is the gem still there a swamp titan haven't seen a Titan yet, I don't think. No, we've seen a Bronze Colossus and we've seen an Etten. We haven't seen a Titan. Swamp Titan Lenny Pirelli. Lenny Pirelli? <laughs> and any Sodati. A gigantic feathered anteater. It has a pair of branching antennae and it has an austere look about it. Okay. <laughs> its plum feathers are long and narrow, but where it's deadly spittle. As long as it's not webs. This is on the surface, right? Okay, goodness. Okay. I'm like, you're, well, you're a baron, so I can't do anything. We need, well, the thing we need to do is... Everyone, yeah. Um, I need to make sure that our... Our inside uh, burrow includes all of our new stuff down below. And look at all that garbage. Um, it's a little. Um, actually, don't want that. And then that comes down here. And then this is all. This is all fine. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, I mostly want to go down here, and that's our that's our other burrow. And to get here. Yeah. Uh nope. This yeah, no. That. Okay, does that actually work? No, it does not. Ugh. No wonder. Okay, and then this level's fine ish. Okay. This is why I've been putting it off. Consider this all 
I think they can be two two burrows at once, so I think that's fine. Our burrows can overlap and be fine, I guess is what I meant to say. I should double check that though. If I were smart, I would split this into, like, a couple different burrows. But I'm not, so... I really like that the borders of your camera match the game aesthetics. Yeah, totally. Thanks. I... Tried to find something something similar, but it's also I mean it's it's neutral enough that I'm just gonna use it for everything. Uh, okay, and then there's <laughs> gonna be all these stupid little stairwells everywhere. Pig. This should be an off-stream thing. There's a um, there's a there's a DF hack plugin, whatever bit um, that automatically extends burrows as you mine. But I haven't I haven't played around with that one. I do want to have some some manual control over it. It'd be cool if I could do more than one level at a time though. And then go there. Not that I'll need to be down here. Okay. We have dug quite deep, haven't we? Uh, so that's the end of that one. But then there's one here. There's one over here. Mm hmm. Can you explain what a burrow is and why it's important to make them burrows? Yes. So a burrow is just a, um, it's a collection of spaces. It's a, it's, we are, we are designating these tiles to be within a burrow and inherently that doesn't do anything. Um, but a burrow in its, like most literal sense is just an area. And then there's other mechanics that interact with burrows that make them useful. Um, the main one, the one that we're, we're interested in right now, I'm, this is overkill, <laughs> um, is that there's kind of an alert feature-ish. Um, there used to be a more literal alert like civilian alert, everyone get inside kind of a deal. Um, oh, I hope that didn't undo. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Um, these are our burrows. Um, so what's going to happen is I, you designate these areas as being the, the places that are inside is kind of what we're doing right now. I'm trying to I'm trying to tell my dwarves where it's okay for them to be. And you can do that by 
by burrowing them. Um, like right now, I keep this burrow... It exists at all times, but it's not active. It's suspended, I guess. Um, so when a burrow is active, when it's not suspended, everyone who's assigned to that burrow will be restricted to stay within those squares that you designated as belonging to that burrow. With, with some exceptions. Um, like there's this button here, toggle whether workshops can source materials from outside the burrow. Um, like one of the more intended purposes of burrows is you could say, um, I have a clothier burrow and inside that burrow I have all of the things for the clothing profession. I have the, all the cloth is in some stockpiles in there and I have all the workshops, all the clothes workshops and dyers and all that kind of stuff. Put those all together put and designate them to be a burrow and then designate uh, some dwarves that you want to be like permanent clothers and assign them to the burrow. Um, yeah, um, and those are different. Um, the burrow is literally just this space and then you can assign dwarves to the space and that will restrict their movement to be within that space. And then you can toggle whether the, the burrow is active or not. So you can say, like, all my dwarves are still assigned, but in addition to, like, 150 dead dwarves are still assigned to it. Um, but yeah, burrows are used for restricting movement or for, for designating where people should be. The dining halls and the storage, um, they're not, it's not quite level up. Um, they're kind of, they're similar. Um, Dining halls and, and, and that are, um, air, meeting areas. So you, they're, they're done from a different button, which I guess is the main difference. Um, but that's all of these. And these have more, more requirements, I guess. Um, like a, a burrow? I can go in here and I can assign the burrow to be literally anything. Like, we've never... Like these tiles, we've never been here. We have no idea what's there, but I can say that it's inside the burrow. And then if we ever mine out these tiles, then that is still belonging to the burrow. And, noth and nothing will change that until I come in here and, and change what these tiles are and I come in and erase it. An area will have, like you need to build it inside. It needs to be, in, it needs to have like an enclosed space. Um, like a bedroom needs to have a bed, a meeting room needs to have a, uh, I guess a chair, probably? Um, that kind of a thing. And they, and they serve kind of a different purpose, I guess. Um, like some things can only happen within a library, some things can only happen within a, a guild hall, or, a, or they, they tend to happen within those places, or like a dining hall. Um, like meeting areas, like generic meeting areas in general are kind of important because dwarves who don't have jobs will just kind of con naturally congregate to meeting areas. Um, but that's completely independent of, um, like you don't have to assign, you don't assign dwarves to a meeting area for them to use it. It's just the meeting area exists and people can take jobs that involve it as opposed to a burrow, which is an amorphous space that you create and then you assign a dwarf to it and say, you stay there and do, and you can only take jobs that will leave you in there. Or, or with that other toggle, you can say that you can take, like you can find materials that are outside, but then you have to bring it back inside. That's kind of the difference. Um, if it's a, in my head, if it's a town, other things are like buildings, or building plots, but a burrow is like a neighborhood, kind of. Yeah. Um, in that sense, burrow is more like it's more like a burrow, like um, like in the in this in the city sense, like a uh, like New York has a bunch of burrows. They're just, they're just big neighborhoods, and they're not really intrinsically different from each other. They're just what you call them, right? As opposed to that building is used for that function. Where that would be like a workshop or like a meeting area. Um, you can go pretty deep into this game without messing with burrows. 
Um, whereas like the meeting areas are a pretty basic building block of what your fortress is. Um, this safety alert type setup is kind of the more common. Um, like, look at all this. This is just nasty. Um, this is kind of one of the more common setups uh, between this and like the, that defend burrow. Like, I, you couldn't tell people to defend a meeting area directly. You would have to turn that meeting area into a burrow, and then that space would like a space can be both a meeting area and a burrow. They're not exclusive to each other, but the the soldiers can defend the burrow, not necessarily. Like you can't assign them to defend a, a meeting area, if that makes sense. It's weird. Burrows are weird. Um, they're definitely not one of the more common things, I don't think. Um, I want, I want everything that's not inside, which is totally weird area here. I mostly want to make sure... Um... Because there's still... We still want to... Yeah. Like, I don't want to... cut them off from this job that they're currently working on. Because, like, if... Uh, if I have this burrow and I don't assign these squares here to be part of the burrow, then as soon as I unsuspend the burrow, these dwarves who are outside the burrow will abandon the job that they're doing so that they can go back inside the burrow. So I'm going to make the burrow bigger so that they can continue their job while we're fighting this hill titan, or swamp titan. There. That's really my my only motivation for doing this all right now is to make sure that they can continue to do jobs down here while I tell them to stay inside the burrow because I don't want them going out upstairs, outside. And let's see, spin yours here and here and here and here and here. But once we do this, it's basically done, for all these spaces at least. <laughs> and all of this... And like these too. Like if I if this was outside the burrow, they wouldn't be able to come down here and dig this until I suspended the burrow again. I want them to do this. There. Okay. Perfect. You're working on it. That's what I like to see. And this one might be done even almost. Not quite. Okay. We'll call that good enough. And now, now that we've defined all those squares, took a second. Um, but then, I, with this button, I can I can assign people. So everyone's everyone's assigned, and you can assign them individually too. Um, but that's that's the whole thing. Um, and then I will unsuspend. So now that this is an active burrow. They should all be restricted to staying inside. Which means now I can give... I'm going to keep that squad down there. I'm going to give these three squads a kill order on the Swamp Titan. Yeah. Oh, the plants are good. Plants are... Like, today's is a very nice day in comparison to previous. Um, like, I have the, the porch door open so I can hear the wind chime out there. It's kind of pleasant. But they're out there soaking up the sun. I meant to... I took some pictures. I need to put them on... I'll put them up on uh, Mastodon and Instagram and stuff. And it's not very impressive. Like, our porch is kind of whatever. I can't... I can't make, like, a real... a real good picture. 
You're just going to hang out out here? If you're going to hang out out here, then I will just station. If it could walk over some, uh, some traps, that'd be great. I don't know if it's susceptible to traps, actually. Maybe it is. A feathered anteater. Yeah, okay. Uh, we've struck a lot of things. What did we... We just revealed more cave because... Because we opened up this fortification, right? Yeah, okay. Cool. So we just... Wow. There's all sorts of gems in there. Native gold. Glancing to make sure there's no... Raw adamanting hiding in here. But I think it would tell me. Sapphire, star ruby. This is... Oh, look at this. This is obsidian. That's probably a little vault there. Cool. Not getting in there anytime soon. Could come up from above or from below. <laughs> um, topaz, just stuff in walls. Okay. Where we're at. Okay. Cool. Oh, here it comes. Curious if we'll get a new king or queen showing up sometime. Oh, who are you? Well, good luck with the Swamp Titan, Baron. Now it seems kind of slow. It didn't really chase very well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. And it just walks right over the traps. Cool. And again, not even a combat log. Just didn't even care. Except it just... Where, where are you going? No, leave... Leave the Baron alone. What is it? It's fitting. You. No, oh, you're... You're nasty, aren't you? Hmm. That's not good. Swamp Titan bites the Baron of Grizzle Orbs in the left foot, tearing apart the muscle. Flying Lice Birds. Or is that its name? Lice Birds, the Heliotrope Dungs. That's cool. It's a Swamp Titan. So very similar. Um, like it'll, it, they're generated in the same way. They're basically the surface version of Forgotten Beasts. Um, but yeah, there's, there's Ettons and there's Titans and oh, here we go. Did you all come outside? I told you to station. I thought. Well, these. No. What were you all doing up here? Okay. Well, pile on, I guess. <laughs> yeah, sometimes not cool. Um, depending on what you get, hopefully it goes down. You can see it's like spitting, spitting gross stuff at us. We have unleashed the echo of a forgotten divine retribution. That's a new message. I don't like that. Enforcer of the Ruins. Great. Okay. So you... Hopefully you can run, and we'll see if these cage traps do anything. 
Now we have stuff going on in two places at once. Yeah, please run. And then up here, they're, they're still fighting. Heavy bleeding. You're pale, healthy, healthy, stressed. Okay. So they're doing okay. You are in much more trouble than they are. Uh, but is it just going to hang out down here? Glad you got away. Let's, um... Let's undo this for now so no one else is coming down. What are you going to do? Enforcer of the Ruins. I don't know what that means. I've literally never seen that before. Uh, let's do description. A tortoise in humanoid form composed of water. Interesting. It appears to be covered with sharp sharp hooks and barbs. It was created by the dwarven goddess, the Spiteful Ruins, and is a part and is a part with misery and torture. And is of a part with misery and torture. Huh. So this is this is a a demon? I don't I mean it's created by a god. I don't know if that means it's a demon. But it, you, we can see who created it even. It's associated with one god in particular. So that's cool. Um, if you're just gonna hang out there, that's cool. I'm just gonna Oh, yeah, and we killed it! We killed the Titan. Who got the kill? Uh, Swamp Titan. Militia Captain bites the Swamp Titan in the head, and the injured part is torn apart. Oh no. Uh, which one's you is the captain? Militia Captain. Kills. One notable kill. Wow. Um, and that was a... Anteater. Ant... he bit an anteater to death. Which makes you an anteater eater. <laughs> okay. So then, so now that that danger has passed, we can suspend this burrow again, and now everyone will act like it doesn't exist again. Um, which means now we can focus down here. And see what this thing does. I'm really curious to see if these traps work. My guess is no. My guess is we're not that lucky. Oh! They do work. Okay. Thank goodness. Holy cow. Okay, and someone's gonna come in and bring that upstairs. Okay. Well then, that makes this a little less scary. Still plenty scary. Needs... He's renaming so his title is The Anteater Eater. Oh, I've been just doing Anteater Eater. Um, I like how one got turned into fortifications, the other two haven't been smooth yet. I think the, the naming convention on all the other dwarves is like... Without the, the... Okay, so they're working on that. Okay, well... <laughs> that was enough excitement for that five minutes. Where are we at? Or we could probably trade. Uh, let's go here, yeah. Have you brought my stuff? Hey, yes, you have. Yeah, uh, editing the... You, uh, you could... Always edit their names. I guess you could always edit their professions too. I just usually did it by um, like there's an outside third-party tool called Dwarf Therapist that used to be real popular. It's still real popular, but I'm I'm digging how the game does it in game now. Um, but you would like you could group them together and give them custom like profession names. Um, but you can also just name them individually. Um. 
one of the things for um, some someday when we reach uh, affiliate, we can use uh, like channel point rewards for like name a name a dwarf kind of a situation, which I think would be cool. I've seen. I think other people have done that before. Um, all these instruments. I just want sand. Just give me your sand. Uh, do you have any? Here. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, give me the sand. Oh, I wonder if... I hope people aren't cutting our glass into gems or something stupid. Sand, sand, muck root, chicory, and quinoa. And we should make like a, we could probably do a whole hippie vegan fortress. <laughs> All kale and quinoa. Uh, red sand. It's quite a bit of sand, thank you. And I'm just gonna trade... What do you... Collapse bins, control C. There we go. Just take... Take all my stuff. Trade. Thank you. Now we have we have trapped an agent of retribution of a deity in a cage. I hope that won't be a problem. Uh, okay, so then okay, so there's more water here because of course there is. But gonna be a small one like max it's gonna be it's these two tiles right and it might even connect with stuff below so that might reveal other stuff so that might be maybe that's smart we'll do like this but yeah once again it was it was in this tile directly adjacent to a wet tile No, I, I've been debating how to like get get over that edge. Um, I've been putting off the Discord stuff. I wonder if that's the thing. It's just a whole other thing to learn. Bots and and stuff. Never, I've never made a Discord server of my own. Um, okay, let's check down here. Okay, so that's still still waiting. And then here. Still waiting. Okay. Um here, did this get dug? Do 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 looks good, looks good. Perfect. Okay, so that all got dug. So now we just need to smooth. Yeah, look at all we've we've drained into the into the lake. Perfect. Okay. And then this will all start evaporating now that it's all just one. Which means come on. Okay, so like worm here means like 
there's something here. Right here. Because we know... Well, no, there could be something there. Could be all the same thing. They could be connected. Hmm. Like this. What is this? A lot of these tiles are worn because there used to be magma here. So, okay, so there's not magma there. We can say that for sure. There could be something here. like some of this is wet because of me that's going to be tricky to figure out as well like these are warm because of my screw up this is wet because of my drain okay yeah go to sleep thanks for hanging out um yeah we'll see you around press your cross your fingers that we'll find some some more goodies in here and not destroy our entire civilization. <laughs> uh, okay. Equipment mismatches, that's fine. So now that I know that the cages work, I'm a little more okay with not having people stationed there 24 seven. We'll keep them on training duty. Diamonds, not demons. Yes, absolutely. Not even diamonds. Like, diamonds are, diamonds are nothing. It's adamantine or... Adamantine or I don't care. We have so many diamonds. We have diamonds out the, out the butt. Anyway, go to bed. <laughs> um, hopefully we'll have something to share when you come back. Damp stone. Okay, that's a thing. Where? Oh, you finally are taking care of this. Oh my goodness. Okay, thank you. And yes, I know there's aquifer everywhere in here. That's that's fine. And then that got done. It's probably because we turned temperature back on. Some of these some of these spaces get weird with temperature off um okay so now i want to make a wall here Oop. and then and then that'll be good no, that's fine okay so those two spots and then there was this spot up here Right? Did this get done? This has been smoothed. And that's open space. Okay. Is this wet? This is all wet. We'll just we'll smooth that. It's just the one. But this is all this is all smooth too. Okay, perfect. Still waiting on that to be constructed, but it sounds like someone's... Oh, is it you? Yes. Yes, child, make the floodgate. And then the other thing to check is this, which is still not done. Fine. Soon. Hopefully soon. Um, and we've told them to make a bunch of roads. That's still... <laughs> still waiting. Still... They're working on it, though. Um, okay, so we chopped those. So that means we can make... Road here. Do... We'll do like this. Oh, come on. We are going through our granite blocks. We had over a thousand granite blocks at one point. <laughs> We're down to like 500. So that's cool. Um, okay. Okay, cool. So we we mined into there, and we got 
two tiles, which is what we expected. Very nice. So now we can, like this stuff, we can just mine these gems, that's fine. Um, and I'm guessing that this is the edge. This is gold. Gold! Um, it's not... Well, we should dig this because it'll help it drain a bit, so that's... That's actually fine. Let's do like this even. Because I think I'm going to drain some of this water. Because the more we drain from the upper levels, the more places we will have to stand to channel into the levels below. I think that one of the main struggles we've been having is just finding safe places to stand. Spirit or found dead. Where? Why? Why? What happened to you? Is that an actual soldier? What happened to you? There's no... there's no combat log. You just kind of fell over dead, didn't you? Goblin blood. Cavefish man blood. <laughs> Dog blood. Cat blood. Cool. All, all of the blood here. Wow. I wonder how much... It doesn't really end up in... in the... down there, does it? It just kind of ends up on the floor. Look at all this. Better in the bathhouse than all around the floor. I am really curious why Sigan died. Unfortunate. Um, Diamond Finders. Yeah, fine. Okay, well, stick him in a hole. Okay. And then still waiting on someone to come back for that. That's fine. Someone, someone's working on that. Good. Is someone working on this one? Who's... What are you doing? Nothing? Okay. Um, where am I? Where am I looking? I'm over here. No migrants again. Hmm. Yeah, see, I wonder if it's the warm stuff that's really, really screwing with it. <laughs> which, of which there's a lot. Um, I could do... how about this? Let's do a stairwell from... here... to here. No, not... not just mine it, but stairwell. There. Bypass all the warm stuff. No migrants. Womp womp. Are these drains done? That got done. Now I can do that. And then this one got done. Perfect. So I'm, I mostly want to drain the water. I think I'll be careful about draining the magma, but the water we can just drain all the water. The people can stand in like three deep water and be fine. It's mostly three deep magma is a problem. Um, yeah, okay. So 
I'll let them I'll let them take care of that. Now Now what? And see as I do that it's gonna add all of these wet tiles. Hmm. Okay. Am you really curious about over here? Let's kinda let's poke down a bit. Let's do like a level can get to the drain. Not that there's anything left to drain here. <laughs> I'm going to leave the magma alone for now at least. Um, ugh. So what about, what about up here? I bet you there's stuff up here too. So let's do... Dig over here. I'll do like this. Cause like this is this has gotta be magma, right? And in here? Yeah, there's got there's magma here. Maybe instead of this. We'll do... Except that's gonna open up the cave. It could be magma. Well, it's, it's gonna be, because it's definitely not on this floor. If we... If we channel it and put a wall there real quick, we'll be fine. Maybe we'll do... we'll do here. I bet you this is also magma. We'll do this. And then same thing over here, because this was water. So I bet you this is this is also. And we'll do like that. Mine out some of these gems. Uh, eh. I don't know why they're not coming down here. Hopefully, hopefully they can still figure this out. Well, there was so there was magma here. We turned this into obsidian when we drained. So this is warm because of the previous obsidian or uh, magma. This, however, I know of no. I don't know what is making this one warm. So we'll we'll just channel in from above. Does no one want to come down here? My bro's not still on, right? That's should be fine. Okay, well, we'll let them work on all that. Uh, did this get smoothed? It's smoothed. So now it just needs to be that. Nothing here. Where's all my miners? Did 
break time. Okay, well that's getting done. Okay, so that drain is done. And then this is done. Perfect. We have four drains. Hooray. So let's go ahead and even... I'm going to do... Oh, God. Let's dig that out and we'll, we'll drain all this water out. Merchant has been found dead. Oh, because they're they're just finding the stuff on the surface. That's fine. Plenty of corpses up there. Should probably <laughs> make sure they can be retrieved. Um, there's not too much junk here right now. Is there anyone else up here? Only the one was forbidden. There's still all these bones. Um, that was the other thought I had, is we can make a nice little incinerator. Realistically, this can be an incinerator. Just need to make it secure. And I would do that by making a little gate, right? I think about it could make like a its own little magma pool, but I don't even think that's that's necessary. We'll just this will just stay full of magma. We can we can do that, yeah, without much effort. Oh, and this got done. No one got stuck in here? Good. Good, good, good. Um, and then this... And this is fine. Okay. I'm gonna do this... While I'm thinking about it. We'll pull this lever. And this won't be on for very long. Uh, yeah. But... I probably want it to be over here, even, so that it's not in line of sight of here. So what if we do... Do something like this. I mean, we can dig there even, and we'll just put a we'll put another hatch there. We could even do we could make a whole dang trash stockpile here. Is that smart? It's probably not smart. We'll just we'll have they'll just have to ferry it directly. That's fine. Um, but then we'll we'll open up here, and then I'll put like a little gate here, so that if we can open and close it, we'll have it be closed when we're being sieged, and then we open up between so that they can take out the trash. I think that's the idea. As long as our miners are doing things still. Okay, there we go. And we're good, right? Why is that? Magma. Okay, fine. It's fine. It's fine. So no more water. So we will pull this again. And then we're good there. Uh, no, not there. Here. Um, and then we were working over here. 
That's still waiting on... Waiting on someone. That'll take a second to drain, but that's fine. And then we can build a wall here. And then we'll be good. No more water coming in. Right? In theory. Um, and then... And then this is our last little bit. We're just waiting for them to finish digging that chute. And then there's this bit up here. This got made. What are you doing? Picking up equipment from where? What? Why is there a whole <laughs> corpse here? Ugh. Who died there? Whatever. Um. I do want to link this. This is already linked. Yeah, we'll link that to this one. There's going to be magma dump tree pool. I'm gonna link it using chalk mechanisms. Why do we have more chalk mechanisms? I swear, I. The only mechanism job we should have is for Gabro. Tetrahedrite, bronze balls, cloth rope, glass blocks, hatch covers. Someday we will be able to search this. Looking for my mechanism. See, I have a Gabro. There's no other... Should not be making other... Mechanisms. And they could be coming from something being deconstructed, right? But there shouldn't be... Here, yeah, Gabro, 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 Gabro. Where's the chalk ones? You claim there's chalk mechanisms in here. There, you. Dump. Um, they're like a slightly different color, aren't they? Goody for me! Color-coded things. Yeah. There's at least one more in here. Microcline. Go away. What are you even being used for? Fine. If you're, if you're tasked on something, you can, you can be used. On what, though? What are they making that's using mechanisms? There's... there's more somewhere. Here they are. Chalk. Dump. Come on. The mica. Yeah, you go away. Okay. Now, you. Link. Uh, okay, so the Gabro one's going at the target. That's all that matters. <laughs> um, nope. Nope. That one. And this goes here. Okay. Has this been built? No. It's been dug, though. 
Someone gonna try? Someone should try it. Someone should try doing what I tell them to do. Oh, we're striking stuff. Where is this happening? This is... Mm. Because we opened up those... It must have been because we opened up this. Jeez, it's so... So far down. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. None of this is being dug. And none of this is being dug. What of our what are our miners doing? Can I here? Stone cutters, metal smith, armor dyer. Administrator. Where's our miners? Are all of our miners in a squad? Stone cutters, armorers. I'm confused. We have a lot of administrators. <laughs> Hammer doors. Lord. Hmm. Okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, Monster Slayer. That's cool. I don't think I've noticed that symbol before. Why? Why? So, Bard, Administrator, Administrator, Captain, Farmer, Hammerdorf, Administrator, Stonecutter, Hammerdorf. Let's do... Some of these are going to become, like, dedicated. You're, you're a Bard. You can... You can be a dedicated miner. And... You. We'll have four dedicated and then a bunch more that can pick and choose what they're doing. Hopefully that tells them to do something. I would love if the mining jobs got done. Did we ever move that demon? Yeah, we did. And the cage trap is reloaded. Perfect. Okay, so what's the holdup? See, no, Nomar. Where's Nomar? Nomar, dig channel. Okay. Working on it, I guess. Maybe. It's gonna take a minute to get down there. Okay, well. <laughs> Still have like 200 ant people. I have forgotten beast must have died. Um, there's still there's only one cavefish person down here somewhere. So they've they've stopped running into us for the time being at least. At least as much as they're able. Um, 
so that's fine. We're gonna wait for all this to cool off. That's gonna drain out. Interesting. I wonder if that's gonna if more water's gonna come in there. Uh, but now we can drain this pool and chop these trees. My goodness. Not that I want to give them more mining jobs, because there's other more important stuff now. Kind of. I guess let's do... make this lower priority. Um, we just want to dig out some of these obsidian bits. Make a little sp a drying pool, basically. Should all be fine. Maybe we'll do something with all our obsidian. No promises. <laughs> um. Okay. working all this. Uh, there's these. We can chop down these trees. Boop. And boop. On oh, these two. Um, yeah, there's some water here, but we can dig. <laughs> Jeez. Everything's warm. Also this. We'll get there. We'll get there. Baron Baroness Erish of Hail Lance has shared a few rumors. And a tantrum. Wormstone. Okay, well that's expected. Yes, yes. Oh, oh go on. Okay. Does that mean digging's happening down here? No, it means you... The one digging job that they took was <laughs> way up there. Okay. What about the... Oh, 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 oh. Okay. And that's the one that's just fire. So, yeah, there are tiles that just have fire inside them. Mind here. Right? We mined here, and then fire was here. That doesn't seem to really do anything. It just is fire for a second and then goes away. It's more annoying than anything. You didn't die, right? Are you annoyed? No. Okay. Well, things are happening now. That's good. That's all I ask. See? Yeah. We mined here, and then it opened up fire here. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Deep within the strange place, we've uncovered what must be the treasures of the gods. Um, did that... Okay, well, there's a thing here. There's a glowing metal bow. Great. That's fine. This part is more worrying, since I've now... ...opened it to the outside. I think we just need a floor there, though. Um, is there... there's magma on this floor, and it's flowing out, maybe? Yeah? Okay. That's fine. There's... <laughs> goodbye, Yellow Diamond. 
we'll just do a floor here. Confirm. And then and then we should be good. The rest of this is, is outside. And there, we unintentionally drained some magma. It didn't kill anyone. Uh, which means... Probably some water here. So let's do this. We'll do... Oops. Oh, mandate. Okay. Uh, we'll do here. And what do you want? You want anvils? You want anvils. It's too bad I can't make it out of, like, copper or something. <laughs> Using all my iron. Okay. Curious about these spots. Okay. I was kind of expecting something there. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So there could be. No, was this. I guess I could channel down from here. Maybe that's the smart thing. But then. No, there's no way there's magma here, because it would already be here. So this is... safe. Right? <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'll, I'll continue with my original plan, I'll dig there, and then we'll channel there. Mm, the diamond is burning. I need like a quick mute button. Ugh. Okay. No oh, more rumors? Baroness has shared more rumors. Too bad we don't have a real functional uh intelligence apparatus right now. Where is this? Oh, perfect. Yes. That one I do care about. Now dig. There. And smooth that, please. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to do that. Hopefully that happens before something sneaks in. Um, do I want to drain? There's probably there's going to be magma here, right? So that's going to be that's going to be hard to figure. Maybe here. Yeah, let's do that. Because that doesn't open the outside, and that will show us this tile here. So that'll be good. Um, what else? There's also... I mean, we could pop this open. Yeah. I'm guessing there's a demon there. But we have cage traps. Right? Yeah. here for? Are you collecting... It's her hand eater eater. <laughs> uh, store item and stockpile. Are you going to grab a bunch of gems? Has a wheelbarrow.
some obsidian. Doesn't show it as being old. Is it in the wheelbarrow? The wheelbarrow has one obsidian in it. Okay. Now well, fine. You do you. Um... Okay, and like the rest of this junk down here... Like this... This isn't anything... This... Unclear if this is warm from previous. I guess we can always just... Look down and check, right? I'll give us something there. Then could be stuff down here. I mean, at this point, I think we can say that there's no adamantine on this level, right? Unless it's really good at hiding. Um, like there could be... Hey look, rock crystal. And can't squeeze in there. Um, I'll just do like that. There could be, there could be magma in here, but, well no, because this isn't obsidian. This is all granite. If there's anything in there, it's real small. Do, do like this. Could there be anything here? Not really. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll call that good. Cherry opal. Interesting. Too depressed. Well... Yeah. Okay. Mining is happening here. This is draining. Cool. Um, we can drain this side too, really. If we do drain... Do like that. all fine. That's all fine. This is all just granite, orthoclase. Okay, don't care about that. Look at all these gems. So many gems. And then like here, like this could be anything. Well, this could go on for quite a while at this rate. Let's see, we made any progress up here? No. Um, what about here? Okay, so that got done. What are you here for? We're here for <laughs> picking up all the stuff that got left here. Hmm. 
cool if you could grab a bunch of it. Oh well. Um, do I care about any of it? It's all worn clothing. Okay. So once you're out... I'm gonna forbid this again. And we'll we'll dump some we'll do, dump some magma and then we'll probably be be done for the day. But let's get oh here we go. Uh, that's just gonna be fire, right? Yeah. See, that's it's just a little bit of fire. Cool. That's draining. That's draining. Okay, I like this setup. This is much better. We get all the gems. Just have to make sure to not wash them all down the drain. <laughs> I guess even that wouldn't be the end of the world. You just wait for it to all drain out and go about down and pick them up. Is that just obsidian? We it doesn't really do us anything. Um. Okay. Uh, oh, let's let's finish the thought up here. So you, there's no one in here currently, right? No one, no one sneaking around. And this is all smooth. So the perpetual one tile is real cool. Um, I'm going to forbid passage here, and then open this this one and that will dump magma onto our accidental swimming pool up here allow this to drain my goodness and there's still all sorts of warm stuff here but you should be fine you should be able to do this All these clothes we're making. Wow, I've never been like flushed for clothes before. That's a cool feeling. Really, it's the the wool is what did it. I have to remember that. Like getting getting the wool economy really going has been the best thing for our clothing situation. I think. Not. I think. I know that for sure. Um. Okay. So then. This is all essentially fine. And then someone's coming to dig this at least. Someone left a scepter and 32 iron bolts. Dorks. Are you anywhere near? Here you are. Our... Yeah, we can convict you. We don't know who stole Spasm Coil. Saw Olo Riddle Drake admire. So who's who's Olo Riddle Drake? Is that a person we have? I'm assuming that person has already left. No. Oh, they're all dead. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Artifacts get stole, that's fine. Stop being burning eventually, right? Maybe. What are you here for? 
picking up equipment. Yeah. It's probably the scepter and not the 32 bolts. Okay. So you're gonna dig. Immediately cancel the next one. Right? Yep. But now I can say smooth that. Did that actually work? Yes. Are they... This one's already smooth. Perfect. And then dig stairs from here to here. And it's going to take another three days for them to finish that one. Yeah, you're already... You've already taken off. And yep, you've taken everything but the bolts. Good job. Um, okay. When you're here, what were you just doing? Store item in bin. You are hauling a whole bunch of diamonds. See, they can haul a whole collection of diamonds on their in their hands. But a single lump of obsidian takes a whole wheelbarrow. So we've dug quite a bit here. What do we... So this is warm because there's stuff there. This, so there's probably water in here, right? So what if we just do... We'll channel here. Because that won't open anything. And then over here, there's going to be, like, stuff over here. Let's do, like, here and here. Let's poke some holes in the floor. Um, and then here there is going to be, there's going to be, like, a single tile of magma here. Uh, but we'll just come in from the side. That will be fine. We'll be able to run away fast enough, and then it'll, it'll dry out here. Right. <laughs> Hopefully. Um... And then where else? So this is all... This is something that we flooded. The warm around the outside is not us. It's... What's here? No, I want to... I want to channel. Oh, come on. And then this... Was there magma here? I don't know. Uh, oh, nope. Here. And channel there. Just take some pokes at it. Some of these will be demons. Hooray. Um, and then like way down here, I can only... I can do like here. That would be fine. In theory. Okay, well that's... That's a handful. Uh, the masterwork has been lost. That's because of magma. Oh, that's right. Okay, so we're dumping here. Perfect. 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 Less water, please. Am 
Okay, so that's, that'll take a second, but we'll let that drain. Sapphire. Okay, so we did... We did release a little bit of magma. And then mapped out some more. Oh, look at all that water. Okay, cool. Now, see, here's what I was wondering. If we can find... pile at the bottom here... that does not have water above it. It's like this one. Kind of. Because we can mine out here, but we would have to stand there. Yeah, I mean, down here. Oh, it's just so tight in there. Oh, and I can see. Oh, look at all that. Wow. Okay, so we open that and we... So there was an empty square and now it's two squares of magma. Um, this got all revealed, so that's cool. Where's the good stuff? Where's the adamantine in all this? Um, okay, so I'm gonna... Yeah, I want that to be done. Uh, we're gonna just... Gems. Yes, yes. Now... Now what? So like... Like here. If I can dig to our drain here, and then here, something like that, and then I mostly just need to also get on top of it. So there might be warm stone in here somewhere, but we'll dig as far as we can. But if I can... If I can drain from this level, then it will drain all of these connected bits. Which isn't everything, but it's a lot of things. I mean, that's that's quite a bit of water. So that'll be helpful. It'd be cool if I could do it from the very bottom, but I don't think we can do it from here very easily. We can barely even get over there. That's, that's fine. Well, there's quite a bit of water here. Draining this will be very useful. And then there's all this magma. Similar kind of deal. This is all connected. If I could do... There's not a great place to stand over there. But like this. What if we did... Like that. Is if we could mine this tile, then we could drain this and this. It's all connected. They don't really connect. Like diagonal and above, I don't think connects. And like, how did we reveal the, all this? We. 
That's connected to that. This we reveal because of that. Okay. So this might just be its own thing. Aside from this. That's definitely connected. Okay. So that'll be useful. Okay. So we'll do that. We'll see if we can drain... Drain some spots. And then... Come over to the other side. They're coming. Okay. Uh, Weaponsmith and Bowman are fighting. I hope that's not a corpse under there. You're seriously injured. Okay. Could not find path. Mm. Oh, because I like turned pathways into magma, I guess. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. And yeah, see, this is all fine. This is all, this is all nothing. Just a bunch of gems. Um, so then this is all fine. This is fine. This is all fine. This is fine. This, this is not. So this is this is kind of our edge here. I do like that. And then yeah, everything else inside is ours. Ours to mine. Could this be? Okay, now they're all coming. They must have all just been on break before. I hope there wasn't anything fancy in there. That would have told us, right? I hope. Uh, uh, okay, so then... Which tile is that? That's That's just more fire. Okay, so it's over there. We dug here. And it was just some fire. Okay. That's fine. I'll take a burst of fire over something evil emerging from a newly exposed pocket. This is right there. Okay. And you, I mean, there's a soldier here. Either means you're gonna take care of it real quick, or you're gonna die. At least you're wearing some steel stuff, and a steel spear, and a steel shield. Okay. And our miner can hopefully get away. This is our... Uh, adequate miner. Okay. We do have a legendary miner somewhere. Um, okay, well, let's see how this goes. Okay, Miner seems to have gotten away. Soldier doesn't seem to notice. If they both go out and then it goes into a cage, then I'm okay with that. It doesn't seem to really care. Yeah, the maybe that's why I should leave all the, the checkerboard. Um, okay. Hopefully no one comes down before it gets out. Yeah, come on. Into the cage. Into your cage. And... No. 
uh-oh. Some of them don't care. White Wrath. Interesting. Uh, what uh, health description? Very large chameleon composed of salt. It has two long curly tails and it is ravening. Beware its hunger for warm blood. Wow. Um, okay. It needs to die. Confirm. Um, is there anyone else just up in the stairwell about to get annihilated? You are, you're the one who's leaving. Of course, you're going to get the kill order and just immediately turn around. Yeah. It's my job. Oh, you want to pick up equipment? You're gonna... Gonna have a surprise before you get there. Yeah, kill White Wrath. Okay, come on. And did you just drop your sword and your spear? Did you just die? Well, I gained a name. Well, that was quick. What the heck did it do? White Wrath. Taxi administrator where he jumps away. Recruit misses. White Wrath stabs the recruit in the lower body, bruising the muscle and bruising the guts through steel greaves. That's not good. White Wrath kicks the recruit in the eyelid. Um... It's kicking. It's doing a lot of kicking. Wow. The steel helm breaks. The White Wrath kicks the recruit in the head with her right foot, but the attack is deflected by the steel helm, and the steel helm breaks. Brutal. Brutal, brutal. That's... Yeah, kicks the recruit in the head now that the helmet is gone and the part collapses into gore. Okay, well, that's a serious one. Kind of figured that it being composed of salt meant it wouldn't be too bad, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Um, let's station our people here. So we can maybe get a bunch of them together, hopefully. Um, hey, look, there's a bunch of gems here. That part's working, at least. Um, but then I kind of want everyone to not be down here. Should modify my burrow. That would be the smart way to go about this. There's so many people down here now. There's so many people down here now. Okay, hold on. Let's. If I can do this with any kind of quickness, I'm kind of I'm running long already, but I don't want to leave a demon for myself to be surprised by. We will, or I will turn this into a um, a separate burrow after after the stream, so that we can individually tell people to not be in the caves versus just inside. Or the, the these mines rather. I want everyone to leave the downstairs. Yeah, the other burrow stayed there. So everyone, don't go south of, or below this south, but down south. 
And then there's all these. And then all of this. Basically it. Didn't even go all the way down with that, but that's fine. And then here. This is the important part, I think. And there's all that. There's the thing. Wonder. The fact that we managed to cage one but not another is really interesting to me. There's going to be no way to know what is susceptible to cages and what's not. Because we have no way to know what's going to pop out of a pocket before it pops out. Okay, so there's... Kind of going two paths from there. I guess we'll see what it does. So far, it's... Chilling on a corpse. Is it actually eating? Oh, I need to actually, like, restrict them to the burrow. <laughs> yes, please be in the burrow, everyone. Yeah, okay. Okay. There we go. It's slow. Did it take... It didn't take any damage. Now where's it going? Going up? Is it just going down again? Where'd it go? That's not something I want to lose track of. Uh... Not an invader, I assume. Underworld. Interesting. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hopefully the people cleared out of all these caves. Hopefully our soldiers are mustering. Yeah, it's coming for us now. All of our 14 FPS. station order. I wonder if it's better to just give them a defend burrow. I wonder if that behaves any different. Uh, hi. That's not what I told you to do. Well, here they come. Do they see it? I mean, that's still, that's way far away. Why are they? Yeah, defend guard station. Okay, well, as long as you're all going in together, I guess. I'd rather it use the stairs to come to you as opposed to the opposite, but here we are. Uh, Whisper Mists. 
Okay. Ah, someone's losing their weapons. This doesn't look good. Come on. Is that it? Did it even leave a, a pile of salt? <laughs> uh, okay. At least it doesn't leave a corpse. Hammerdorf hacks at the White Wrath with Battle Axe. And it's severed off. Sails off in an arc. Okay. Uh. Who got the kill? Not you. Nope. Oh, uh, no, those are goblins. Forgotten beast. Ooh. We killed it. <laughs> uh, was the hammer dwarf? Which is you. You didn't get a credit for it, though, unless it's just... No. You have 45 kills? Holy cow. Wow, you've killed 30 fish people. Cool. Uh, okay. So now, now they can take their... their order away. And then we can unburrow... Or suspend burrow. And then we're good. And then I think we're gonna call it there for the day. Not tempt fate too much more. Did you get real injured? You are seriously injured. Cannot breathe. Severe blood loss. Does someone want to save this dwarf? I know we lost one soldier. Who wants to replace the soldier? You you can do that. Then we're good. Otherwise, unless this dwarf dies. That dwarf died. <laughs> oh boy. Come on. Why scroll? The weaponsmith. So many people are already in the squads. Fish cleaner. Don't need no fish cleaners. Need swords, dwarves. Okay. Well, we only lost three people today. We started at like 114. So that's really not that bad considering the last couple of streams. Um. Still haven't actually seen adamantine. But it's gonna happen. It's gotta be in here. I was kind of wondering if it was hiding in this area over here. Cause like maybe it's like behind the magma, like between magma and cave, but nope. There was nothing on this level. We can say that pretty confidently now. Which means what? We just keep going down? It's gonna be a whole process. It's already been a whole process. Um, did these things get dug? Oh, well, someone's coming there. And then this got dug. Okay, so then let's just channel here, right? And then that will all flood out that way. Everything will be fine. Aside from all the dying and the... Who the heck was that? That was that one, okay. And then who was this one? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we lost two people there. Um, that was 
glass finally being made. But I want them to spend too much time on this, though this isn't nearly as labor intensive as some other things we're doing. There we go, clear glass blocks. Throwing a tantrum, of course. Okay, so, yeah, you're fine. You can tantrum all you want in there. We got people training. We got magma dumping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Cool. Once this area is kind of dealt with, then we'll... We'll turn it back off again, but still waiting for this door for this thing. Okay. Cool. Our population only went down a little bit today. Hooray. Still haven't actually seen the way to get to the adamantine. My goodness, it was not this hard before. Which is fine. Like, it's okay for things to be difficult and confusing and bullshit, but we'll, we'll get through it. Um, I do want to get, I mean, I want to show, I want to show Adamantine. I want to do kind of the whole fort progression in one fort and then we can, like, we won't have to, I won't feel the need to show you all these things in every future fort. We'll just do future fort things, but I want, I think I want to do all the things here. So yeah, um, it, it, it takes a minute apparently. Um, we'll, we'll do some other things in the meantime too. Um, I'm thinking about beefing up our, our little castle structure on the surface. Um, and that can be done by a lot of our, our spare labor. Right now, a lot of our labor is just like going up and down all those stairs to go down to the mines down there um but i think i think we can tell people to do some other things in the meantime uh, just as long as it doesn't involve digging the digging is is earmarked for for adamantine but like constructing stuff we can we can do some stuff there um so maybe we'll start on some some new obsidian project next time um and then we'll keep looking for adamantine and once we've once we've found adamantine and used some adamantine finished our throne room those are my th that's that's what's left in my mind for this fortress i want those are the things i want definitely want to be done with or we leave or die <laughs> and um and then we'll see what other kind of trouble we can get up into um so yeah uh, that's it for today come by on saturday i'll be continuing on sekiro which has been great great stuff Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Also, hi. Um, the, the question marks between using adamantine and profiting is murder. Um, yeah, no worries. Um, I went a little bit late today anyway. Um, we're dealing with some, some junk. But yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, more Sekiro on Saturday, more Dwarf Fortress on Monday, more, 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 more. So yeah, have a good, have a good, good rest of your week. Have a good weekend. Stay kind.